Hey, this is Jack with Recipal, and we're going to go over some of the advanced features within the platform. Specifically, we're going to talk about creating a sub-recipe, creating a custom ingredient, and accounting for waste and water loss in your recipe. So I'm reluctant to call creating a sub-recipe an advanced feature because it's so easy to do. Take any recipe you have and then go to Actions and just click Create Sub-Recipe, and now you've turned it into a sub-recipe. That's all there is. But what is a sub-recipe? By making it a sub-recipe, it becomes an ingredient that you can use in other recipes. So if you have a base that you reuse over in other recipes, you don't have to recreate it each time. It's now an ingredient that you can use. So I can search for my sugar cookie base, add it to the recipe, and then I could add some other toppings to it. So in this case, I'll add some M&Ms to make it an M&M sugar cookie. And I could do this as many times as I need with as many different topping or ingredient combinations without having to recreate that sugar cookie each time. So when you create a sub recipe, you're creating a custom ingredient within our system. What's great about this is that whenever you make a change to the ingredient, that change will carry over into all of the places where this is used. So any nutrition, costing, ingredient list, you can change it in one spot and affect everything. But there's another type of custom ingredient that you can create by taking a pre-existing product, entering the nutritional information, and creating your own custom ingredient. So let's say I wanted to add these peppermint slims to my sugar cookie base, but they weren't in the Recipal database. I'm gonna show you how to create a custom ingredient for this product. So this is really simple. You're just gonna copy over the information into our database, starting with the name of the product, the manufacturer, and the ingredient list. From there, you're gonna set up your serving size information. This recipe, the serving size is one ounce or 30 grams. And I can set up additional units of measure that I could use to have options when I'm using this ingredient in other recipes. So I could set it up for cups, I could set it up for pounds, I could add as many different units as I want to be able to use when adding this to a recipe. Once you have your serving size set up, you can start directly copying over the nutrient information from the product's nutrition fact panel. So I can copy the calories, the fat, the carbohydrates, protein, all that stuff, just directly copy that. Once you have that all in, then you can add in the vitamins. You can look for any additional vitamins beyond the mandatory ones. If there are none, you could go ahead and create the ingredient. So now I've got another version of my cookie using my sugar cookie base and this custom ingredient for the peppermint pretzel slim topping. And I'm gonna talk about how to account for any waste and water loss. So the waste percentage is for any ingredients that don't completely make their way into the final product. So for my sugar cookie base, some of the batters left behind in the bowl, I might want to set a waste percentage of 5% or so, so that those extra calories and carbohydrates and everything else isn't accounted for in my nutrition label. Now there can also be water loss as part of the cooking process. When this happens, the end product is lighter, but you haven't lost any of the nutrients. So to account for that, you just need to adjust the net weight accordingly. As I enter the net weight, it'll automatically calculate the yield percentage right beneath it. This is showing me my total inputs divided by my total outputs to give me a sense check of my yield. The great thing about sub recipes is they give you an extra layer of granularity for water loss. So if the water loss in my recipe only occurs in my sugar cookie base, I can set the net weight there appropriately versus setting it for my recipe as a whole. So we just reviewed creating a sub recipe and a custom ingredient and then setting the waste percentage and water loss through the net weight. These are all really powerful tools that help save you time and create more accurate nutrition labeling. If you have any questions, just reach out to us and let us know how we can help.